long as it can go, and it holds us in a streamlined position. And again, in swimming, we have two streamlined positions. First is the one you use off the wall for all of your strokes, and the other one is the freestyle stream pos streamlined position, where you're rotating your hips, you're rotating your shoulders, you're keeping your body straight, and you're standing up on your tippy toes, and you're swimming freestyle. That's called the stretch position, or I like to refer to it as reaching for the light bulb. Every freestyle stroke starts and finishes in that position. You're going from one side, stretch the light bulb, to the other side, stretching and reaching for the light bulb. It's very similar to a, a sailboat when it tacks from side to side. In swimming, you're never, you never want to swim flat in the water because then you would barge through the water. What you want to do is rotate from side to side, just like a sailboat, because it tacks from side to side and you're decreasing the surface area of the water. So you want to go for in freestyle, we're just tacking with every stroke and you never spend very much time at all on your stomach. And so this drill emphasizes that rotation and it also emphasizes the distance per stroke, getting as much out of each stroke as you can. So the first 25, I'm gonna hold for three seconds in that stretch position. I will probably need to take a breath. And so I'll take a breath, I'll put my head back down, and then I'll start counting to three. It's important that once we do the distance per stroke drills, the three, two, one drill, that I need to kick as hard as I can. And your swimmers, when they do this drill, they're gonna start getting winded, they'll start getting tired. And that's important for them to do that because that means they're emphasizing their legs. And so this is a drill where you are gonna get tired and it takes a little bit of effort and focus to do it correctly.